That's why when we pray, we wear, I have one in my bag, so I'll pray later, but we have like a teleco. Wow, it's just like a long skirt so and like a long idea. chinic, and it kind of comes over like this. So right. when we pray, we're just a big blob. So you know, <laughs> you can't... So this is all your answer we're here. <laughs> all right. The chart of wisdom. <laughs> Carry on. So, so this is a chart showing about collectively about our belief, Muslim belief, in the one God. And we believe when God created Adam and Eve, He did not just left them to themselves to find out who God is and how to worship God. Wow, pelayanannya seperti ini ya, kepada bule-bule ataupun pada Uh, wisatawan ataupun pendatang pelayanan pelayanan ini lagi-lagi saya temukan gitu kan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu Dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu ta'ala Dijauhkan dari segala marah bahaya Malah petaka bencana dan bala Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Oke right, guys kali ini kita akan reaksi sebuah video ya guys ya Yang sangat-sangat menarik Sekali berkenaan dengan uh, turis ya Dan juga masyarakat Malaysia Tanpa berlama-lama jom kita simak videonya guys Let's go Assalamualaikum everyone We are, back. We are back at Masjid Walaya Persekutuan. Yeah, that's okay. correct, right? Yes, sir. Hopefully, inshallah, the wanted posters are done. <laughs> the wedding video is up. You guys know oh, that we brought a here just a short while ago. And today, we are joined by a special YouTube couple. You guys wow. might know them. Disappear for days. Ringing any bells? Yeah. Emma and Jacob are here today. So we're gonna go inside. Terbaik. Have a Dia bawa temennya, guys. It's just prayer time, so hopefully we can see something fun, right, guys? Yeah. Learn a few things. We've got our Ustad here. Yep, that's you, be preacher of the day. He's gonna be preaching a whole bunch, I'm sure. So shall we go inside, have a little fun, look around, and yeah, hopefully you guys can learn something. I'm sure I'll also okay. learn something today, guys. Stay with me. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye bye. Hey, not bye bye. Come, let's go. <laughs> John Maso. John Maso. John Maso. Yeah, means Maso. legs. Get in. So here we go, guys. So this is your first time in a mosque, or you've been in a mosque before? Oh. So we've been in one in Kota Kinabalu. Okay. Yeah. But that's the only one we've been to in Malaysia, isn't it? Uh huh. So yeah. we're really looking forward to seeing another mosque, especially one actually in KL. Yes, exactly. And took my shahada here. We got married here. We brought mum here. So you guys are next on the list. It looks like need to wait. Next on the list. Oh, that's <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> okay, so we just seen. This and I was like, oh my gosh, is it 10 ringgit that Emma and Jacob will have to pay? But actually, it's only for Muslims that have to pay. Non Muslims don't have to pay, so that's cool. Okay, I do approve these robes because they are the color of pink, and I'm here for that. And I don't know if Jacob also has to wear pink, but you know what? I've made Abbas wear pink many a times this year at our wedding. Also, Raya, right, babe? Alright. Okay. Yeah, so, for the yeah, if you are okay, non-Muslim and want to come visit this beautiful mosque, you can pop this robe on, like so. So, this robe because it's pink. Oh yeah, absolutely approve this robe. Oh, nice. Next hijab model in the making. Wow. Any hijab brands watching? Emma's available. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chanti. Chanti oh, Emma. again. <laughs> You look adorable. Oh, stop. Whenever I put my hair like all the way up and yeah. back, he's like, I need that like Lincoln from Prison Break. Okay, let's insert uh, a photo <laughs> here. But I, I don't think so, but okay. <laughs> I've never seen. All right. Nice. Good. Terima kasih, Kak. This is a tourist place. Oh, oh, all right. We've never been here, so let's go. Oh, today, oh. Like, <laughs> Allah Allah. Allah. Right now in our prayer session, I will take you upstairs to the prayer hall and then after the prayer, we will take you for the tour. Is wow. that okay? Yeah. Okay. 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 No, but the funniest part is I already took my shahada and got married here, so I'm just going to pretend I don't know the <laughs> most. Like the again now. Yeah. Like, no. oh, I've never been here before. <laughs> Alana, the hijab stylist. I was going to say, she knows what she's But doing. guys, let me tell yeah, you, man. aunties nah. sometimes message me on Instagram. They're like, Alana, you need to change up your hijab style. And I'm like, auntie, hun, I've got one style and that's it. It's <laughs> the so only one I can do. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, how does it feel to be a tourist in a mosque that I took my shahada? Yeah, we got married and we've been here a hundred times. Yeah. So yeah, the 99 names of Allah are actually up here. 
very what interesting. I didn't yeah. know that. All the way around, you guys. If you look up when you pray, Allah will be there. Mashallah. Allah is both seen. He sees what we do. Allah is our Bashir. And Islam is quite strict about protecting the environment. How are you guys finding it all so far? I know it can be so overwhelming, right? And I know like it can feel like what is going on, like but how are you guys feeling? I think it's quite nice and like it's very similar to like a lot of other religions and mm -hmm. stuff and you can almost relate like a lot of different things and a lot of good things about it from each religion to one another. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean there's like a lot of it, the way it's kind of being explained does make sense in that mm. sense like you know, wow. if you say about a person, obviously you go to hell and stuff, yeah. and it's like you wouldn't think, oh yeah, you're going to go to heaven if you've done bad things. So yeah, true. It's like it, a lot of it is kind of like very like common sense, and as I said, it kind of relates to like Christianity and stuff. Sure. So it's like yeah, it comes from like the same humble beginnings, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So this is a Quran. I would say the only book on earth which does not have a human author because everything comes from God. It came from God to Angel Gabriel. So this Quran was given to Prophet Muhammad over a period of 23 years. Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'een اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. See how's it been uh, being a tourist in your own country? It's good, more knowledge for me. Yeah. Menjadi turis di negara sendiri. Bye bye. Nama apa tadi? Yeah, bye-bye. Oh, so cute. Bye-bye. alaikum. So, guys, we've been on this tour. I didn't even know that the ladies can pray up here. Also, guys, we found out this mosque was started in 1997, finished in 2000. This mosque is the same age as me. Yeah, 24. Same age as me. This is the mosque also Allah to take shahada and get married. Yeah, and when we brought mum here as well. Um, so this mosque uh, is actually See, got to have something to tell Alana about this mosque. Yeah, it's the same age as me. So yeah, we've been on this tour. I really hope it's not too much information for Imran Jacob to take in. That is good. But yeah, it's been really interesting for us. I mean, I've been loving it. I hope they have too. We'll catch up with them in a second. Guys, that's the Sharia court over there. I was just okay. explaining to Jacob and Emma when Abbas and I had to go over there. Sorry, Abbas, for and also, break five, they have program oh, also. You know that I proposed Alana there. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's right. Abbas proposed oh, to me over really? there. Guys, everything happens in, in this here. mosque. <laughs> yeah, hey, come, shahada, let me... proposal, wedding. Hey, come, I'll recreate. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> take photo here. Yeah. Yes. You guys should take photo here. Literally, like oh, that's yeah. so funny. Go on then. Go recreate it, guys. Nah. <laughs> take Jacob. Let me help you. Take his hand. Take him up. <laughs> oh yeah, it could could be the time, no, guys. No, 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 no. Just, just for photo. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, this is all pre-arranged. Imagine. Imagine yeah, came out. But it was <laughs> fun to do yeah. Well, that's what Abbas did because he organised it with my manager. Uh -huh. So at some point, right? So I took my shahada and then I'm just minding my business. And Abbas like, oh, let's take photos over there. Oh, and so it was on the same day. Yeah. Wow. So then we went up there and then he's like, yeah, look at the view. And I'm like, yeah, I've been looking at the view, you know, all day, really. And then he like put his hand like this. I'm just like standing there. And they just like hand me the ring. And I'm just like joy. <laughs> yeah. And then then I see him like going down. I'm like, what are you? Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> then he just like opens the ring. Oh. We did have a little short about it, and I was gonna post it, but then we decided not to. So maybe a bit controversial. Even though he didn't touch my hand, I don't know. We decided just yeah. to keep it on. Let's ourselves. move on. Oh. We know how hot this oh, thing. You got your ring on there. Ah, yeah. That's actually the engagement ring, guys. Just a little fella. Be, keep this walking. Is the keep walking. Ring. Be. I think. 
something just a bit too intimate at the most before marriage. Even though it's engagement, it's still not marriage. So now obviously I can hold Abbasi's hand in the most, no problem. But before oh, you're married, yeah, too much yeah. like intimacy at the most, even though it's maybe just, I don't know, standing too close or whatever. Right. So we just decided not to, yeah. It's also because like in Islam, we avoid at all costs to sexualize women in right. any way. That's okay. why we dress modestly. That's yeah. why the women are behind so you don't see the women kind of yeah. bent yeah. over and not see her in so it's, they're mm, behind the men so that the women are looking at the men we don't really sexualize men la just do what you want right. but if it was the other way around maybe they're trying to look at the curves or something that's why when we pray we wear i have one in my bag so i'll pray later but we have like a teleco it's just like a long skirt and like a long tunic and it kind of comes over like this so when we pray we're just a big blob so you know you can't you can't see any figure can't even see the arms because that's our like like most holy time you don't want yeah. anyone yeah to and you don't want to feel uncomfortable either you don't yeah. want to feel like oh i need to cover something up yeah you know, you know, and that's actually so. why like muslim ladies might choose to <laughs> okay. to cover like it's it's quite required in the quran that we start to cover like for example the, the share start to wear hijab but it's because i just slowly wanted to I, I also realized like my job is so online i have a responsibility now like in my religion to do the best that i can to be like god best slave right so I don't want to even give anyone the opportunity to try and like almost like sexualize me online or anything like that so yeah I, I slowly take steps almost like yeah putting your life online and yeah. for other like younger Muslims to look at you that's yeah. it so you don't want them to think oh well she's not covering up so therefore that's I don't need true. to like, if they're looking up to you that's true because yeah. it's always going to be a sin on my head a sin on my head <laughs> yeah. and we talked about like the day of judgment right on that day God will be playing your whole life back and yeah. he'll be reminding you Let's go the door. Oh, we're getting closer to the marriage hall But I also took wow. my shahada in this hall oh, By the way, that's Klantan King and that's uh, Selang or King, I guess, I think Oh That's a prayer position When we pray, we pray behind the imam And that again links back to the story that we just heard now right. So uh, Abraham sacrifice is my Okay, yeah. so then he went, he was ordered to kill his son, but just the moment that he was about to, then his son was replaced by a sheep. Oh. So it meant like ah. God, it Iran was such Kuruban. a test, like would you be willing to kill your son in the name mm -hmm. of God? But then of course God did not allow that, he swapped with a sheep and then that's what we actually celebrate the second Eid. So that's why there's a sacrifice of a sheep, but the Ustad told us the other day, because remember I told you we were just filming at the yeah. other mosque, it was all about the celebration. Ustad said also can sacrifice a cow, cow. camel, a sheep. sheep, not a chicken. <laughs> Chicken's not enough. How was it go back in time? I know, I'm waiting for like Liv, Kira, Fanny L to just like the turn the corner, oh. iPhone. Yeah. Maybe we can show us some a bit of the video. Montage. Montage around here. <laughs> dad just like walking around my poor dad he was like what's going on I was like can I can I touch you in the mosque I was like you are my father of course you can <laughs> oh gosh so this is all your answer we're here <laughs> the chart of wisdom <laughs> carry on so, so this is a chart showing about, about collectively about our belief Muslim belief in the one God and we believe when God created Adam and Eve he did not just to left them to themselves to find out who God is and how to worship God and cookies. Oh yes, look at those. What Whoa. a treat. Bismillah. Wow, pelayanannya seperti ini ya kepada bule-bule ataupun pada uh, wisatawan ataupun pendatang. Pelayanan, pelayanan. Ini lagi-lagi saya temukan gitu kan. Ketika ada vlog-vlog gitu kan, orang Jepang lah, ini juga orang Amerika lah, ya kan? Yang mana ya kita dapati pelayanan Jadi kalau kita nak tahu gitu kan uh, Bagaimana pelayanan orang-orang uh, Islam yang ada di Malaysia Ya like this gitu Did you guys eat a whole bunch of Raya cookies this Ramadan and Raya? Oh well here you are guys yeah. this is it So when you go Begin. to the mosque you will always be fit okay. So sweet um, Thank you for know, being a subscriber. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, feedback form. Here we go. Five stars, B. Okay, five stars only. Right, let's get this try. Bismillah. 
Oh. All right. Hmm. Di sini agak tahu kenapa ya pelan eh, pelayanan di sana itu kepada bule-bule ya kan itu pasti welcome banget ramah oh, banget. Oh that's delicious cooking. Wow look at that. We've just been gifted a brief illustrated guide to understand Islam. B, how is the tour? Five. Five stars. Five star. Yeah, did you know they did yeah. tours here? <laughs> Honestly, no. <laughs> we just did our own tours here. How are you feeling? Are you overwhelmed or are you guys okay? No, it's nice. I think it's just a lot of information, isn't it? To mm. take yeah. Trying to understand it all, piece it all together. Mm. I feel like you get it a lot more than I do. Yeah. But you ask lots of questions, don't you? Or is that just uh, yeah, kind of sitting and listen? True. You're really good at being like, so... But I always feel like... I you need more that, time like, to kind of process, right? No question is a silly question, but I always feel like it's a silly question. Oh. You're quite, to just go, yeah. so is this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's good. Just be like, make a fool of myself yeah. just to like learn a little bit more. Oh, you must. You yeah. always yeah. must ask In Islam, you right. can ask everything. That's not from our life. That's true. Yeah, and you were like getting the answers correct as well. Jacob was like, yep, yeah, I know that's <laughs> <laughs> We were like, oh, good stuff. <laughs> but you guys are okay. It wasn't too yeah. overwhelming, yeah. right? No, I really enjoyed So I know it. what it's like. I've, I've been there, yeah, like. Yeah, she's been there, yeah. This one just like preaching, then I'm like, I don't. It's, it's going in here and it's going over there, <laughs> but that's good. So, and what do you think about the mosque? Quite beautiful, oh, right? Beautiful. I was like saying on my camera, like the angles and like the architecture, yeah. of it, like lies yeah. so so yeah, nice. It's stunning. And you can tell, you can see the different like cultures and like the different countries which have mm. had the, like impact on it, and like they've slightly changed the design of something. So yeah. Nice. Hopefully it's been some sort of whistle stop, not really a whistle stop actually, a big stop tour at the mosque. So Abbas and I will actually go pray. Okay. So if you want, um, Jacob, you could go with Abbas to the wudu place. You guys could have film there. Okay. Um, yeah. I can show you the female. I will actually like take How the How they kind of like ablution before they pray. Okay. So you guys can carry on film there and the female one we won't film. Well, okay. so, I'll give you that. Um, <laughs> I have that already. Okay. You Go can on. take this. All right. right. That's a I man. I leave a bass in control, everyone. Okay. Good job. So this is ablution, also male changing room. Okay. What's ablution? Ablution kind of like we wash ourselves before we pray. Oh, it's kind of like cleaning yourself. Yeah. Right. So okay. normally I just take off my socks. It's wet here. Let me just take off my socks. This is what happened when men handle the camera, guys. Sorry. Jacob looks professional there. Oh, you want to? Arms. I'll give it a go. You want to try? Oh, okay. So wow. what I'm going to do is the first thing is we yeah, wash our hands. And intentionally, I just say in the name of God, Bismillah, and mouthwash three times for whatever we eat. We clean it, and I also we also do this like clean our like uh, nose uh, tray. Just like put a bit. <laughs> I feel like I was drowning. <laughs> Don't suck it. <laughs> then our face, like around all here. Okay. And then what is this part symbolizing? So this is to clean our face there three times. Then the next part is we wash our hand till our elbow. Okay. Like this. Take the water three so times. Wah, langsung belajar sekolah salat kalian nih. Actually, uh, Muslim <laughs> teach about hygiene. Wow, keren sih. Some people, I don't know, they teach a Muslim like really. Uh, I don't understand. Yeah. And next is like just here, the hair. I feel like I'm gonna come out yeah. like uh, smelling a whole new person. And also, and your ears. Next, just like take the water and put your ears oh, and clean. Dry. Yeah, kind of like yes. And your leg, last part. Yeah. Your leg till your ankle. And that's it. So you, do you have to do this every, every five, time? Every time you want to pray. Right. But if you just wash this once, but let's say like you don't pee or anything to another prayer, you can just continue with this. Oh, so it's only if you go to the toilet. That you yeah. Oh. Yeah. How was it? Not too bad. This is the first time for everything. I didn't, I won't lie, I didn't like the whole water in the nose. <laughs> and the water in the ear, that's a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe if you find a good technique, then you'll be like, oh, okay, acceptable. This made me feel like I was drowning for a second, but other than that, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Oke, okay, mungkin mungkin terlalu terlalu disedot gitu ya. Jadi kayak sakit gitu. Iya kan? Pasti kalau kita istilahnya kayak uh, oh my god, terlalu 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 keras menyedotnya gitu ya, guys ya. Jadi agak sakit dan di telinga so, juga kebanyakan air. Jadi seperti kayak 
uh, kebanyakan ya udah masuk ke telinga gitu oh, like that mungkin yang dirasakan oleh abangnya ya yeah. also it's good because of you know it's hot sometimes in the day right so you can just like uh, cool yourself down yeah. and also clean your face sometimes I was gonna say now we've come back out I'm like oh it's a nice little breeze so yeah. you can feel the water it's really nice yeah. Back again in the mosque. We're just gonna pray now. Jacob and Emma just went to have a little look around, and okay. that's the updates. Then we'll have a big debrief and have a little Jalan Jalan de mosque. This mosque is beautiful, and for us, it is a very special mosque, right? And yeah, if you guys want, you can come to this mosque. And the tours here are actually so great. They really like well thought out where to go, what to say, all the important things to say. So come by, come to Masjid Walaya Persikutan. Beautiful mosque, great tours. You get biscuits at the end. What's not to like, Ruby? I will do the same. Guys, we're got snacks, talking about okay, the old YouTube. Oh, is it good? Samosas, yeah. right? Snake, snack, snack. I don't know. Bismillah. Ular makanan ringan. Oh, that's so spicy. Hmm. Hmm. Is it not? Oh, this one. Is hmm. It? Oh. A bass literally tells them like, tidak pedas, tidak pedas. Tidak pedas. Like like that. Our first time at the mosque in KL, so I hope you enjoyed. Did you yeah, enjoy? Yeah, absolutely. It was so nice, and I think going with you two mm -hmm. is like. It just made it so much more informative and so much more valuable in that sense, Aww. rather than just going on our ah, own and usually looking at the architecture. Like, yeah. What are we looking at then? Understand. <laughs> Good. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, no, no pressure or anything. I hope you could um, enjoy the learning process. Yeah, and absolutely. All of thank that. you for having us. No, thank <laughs> you for coming. And yeah, that wraps up this video, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to watch this one here, and we'll see you in the next one. Papa Roger, goodbye. <laughs> Alright guys, ya, selesai videonya dan itulah tadi ya guys ya Kalau kita nak melihat bagaimana pelayanan yang ada di Malaysia tentang turis ya Terutama tentang uh, wisata religi Maka ya salah satu pilihannya termasuk di Malaysia ini ya guys ya Karena kenapa kalau kita lihat dari kemarin juga Wisata masjid itu bi bisa dikatakan apa namanya ya Digemari dan digemak dan diminati oleh masyarakat ataupun oleh pelancong seperti itu karena kenapa masjid-masjidnya bagus dan juga disediakan sarana juga dan juga bisa dikatakan ya SDM-nya itu mampu untuk menerangkan just uh, talking about uh, muslim in english and ya yeah, mereka bisa menjelaskan semuanya itu dengan bahasa inggris yang sangat-sangat bagus sekali dan mudah difahami seperti itu ya guys ya dan kalau kita ke apa ya guys ya ke tempat-tempat yang mungkin uh, turisnya ataupun apa namanya SDM-nya tidak mampu untuk melakukan itu ya ya agak-agak susah. Jadi ketika bertanya uh, what is this sir? Jadi uh, I don't know uh, apa ya saya tidak tahu gitu. Mungkin mungkin uh, berbeda sekali istilahnya sambutannya ketika kita uh, understand about A language uh, turis ya kan ya tapi kalau kita nggak paham dengan bahasa turis itu sendiri kita bakalan uh, uh, kelak kela, kelabakan ataupun apa bisa dikatakan ya kita bingung aja mau jawab apa gitu ya guys ya like dulu saya pernah itu ada orang Arab ya kan pergi ke kampung saya uh, tur ke masjid-masjid seperti itu ya guys ya dan waktu itu ya memang tidak semuanya bisa bahasa Arab tapi rata-rata ada lulusan-lulusan uh, pesantren yang bisa bahasa Arab ketika berjumpa dengan masyarakat awam mereka hanya assalamualaikum waalaikumsalam apa kabar apa kabar like that dan ketika mau ngobrol mereka harus ada translator dan ketika berjumpa dengan saya ya udah kita ngobrol gitu kan Uh, mereka dari Mesir dan mereka sedang jalan-jalan uh, di Indonesia ya kan safari dakwah di Indonesia dan mereka itu pengen juga istilahnya keliling-keliling uh, masjid juga gitu kan melihat masjid-masjid yang ada di Indonesia dan ketika itu ya mereka pada paham semua dan ketika istilahnya orang uh, masyarakat 
uh, yang ada di kampung itu bertanya ataupun uh, bisa dikatakan pengen ngobrol lah seperti itu jadi kita bisa menjadi jembatan jadi ketika kita paham akan bahasa maka kita akan semakin mudah untuk memahami orang lain juga eh guys ya nah itu dulu videonya guys terima kasih semoga kita bisa belajar daripada pelayanan yang ada di Malaysia ya terhadap turis jadi masyarakat yang ada di Malaysia itu sudah paham akan bahasa Inggris ya kan mungkin ada juga beberapa orang yang paham bahasa Arab dan juga bahasa India Nah itu menjadi poin plus kepada kita ya kan Jadi ketika kita istilahnya memahami banyak bahasa Maka ketika ada turis yang datang ke tempat kita Kita tidak gelagapan Kita akan semakin mudah untuk berkomunikasi Seperti itu guys ya Oke terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya Apabila salah kata mau dimaafkan Saya pamit Ududri Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh